Hello, I thought I'd do a studio vlog and talk a bit about the painting I'm currently working on. Originally I did this painting as a little watercolour and ink drawing um, and then I liked it so much that I decided I wanted to make a bigger painting as well. So I'm working in oils and I did the original drawing out in um, an oil bar. And I, the rest of the colour was all added in one, one session and I'm ready now to work on the figures. And I also need to correct the moon because the reflection's the wrong way round. I forgot to check that. I should have drawn it out first. If I had have done, I'd have realised. But of course I didn't, so I didn't notice till after I'd painted it. So I need to replot the moon reflection and I need to oil out this section where I originally in the tree and oil bars because I think you can see that section's matte compared to the rest of the painting which has a slight sheen and that, that's because the oil bars have got some wax in them so they're not having the same oil content as the rest of the painting um, they dry much more matte so even when I painted over the oil bar last time I worked on this one it's still dried mat so I'm going to oil that out and what that means is to apply some linseed oil and just rub it into the mat areas and then I can work over it and hopefully that should be enough to just even up the sheen. When I finish the entire painting I will probably have to oil out considerable sections of it to bring the sheen up to the same level everywhere because I'm actually working over an old painting at the moment so um, it, will, it will have an uneven finish. I'm going to be working on the figures next and I thought I'd just show you the colours I, I use for flesh because they're not um, necessarily obvious colours. Um, the first colour is actually Viridian Green which is a really brilliant transparent green. I use also Brilliant Rose which is a very very bright rose pink and cadmium yellow deep. Now you might, if you, if you haven't done much colour mix, mixing, you'd be surprised to know that um, Viridian Green and Permanent Rose actually make a purpley mauvey colour which looks rather like that. That's what tinted out with some white but these are various rose and green mixes um, and also some deep browny pinks so in fact, they are brilliant colours for flesh. The rose mixed with yellow makes a salmony pink, which is very useful too. Um, and I use these in a sort of layering technique, which is something I've, I've recently learned how to do, and I'm really, really pleased with the effect it gives. It's very lively, even on figures that are obviously stylized. They look a lot more um, fleshy, and alive than the, the way I used to paint them and I really like that effect so okay that's what I'm going to do next
Lucy. I've done quite a lot of work on the figure on the right and I'm just about to go back to this one. Unfortunately, um, while I was painting, the storage ran out on my iPad, so I didn't film quite a lot of that, but hopefully I should, should get this one on, on film. You can see I've done quite a bit more now. Um, I've added some of the background colours into the hair so um, to, to bring some life into it and I've reshaped, you can probably see just about on the, on the camera there's some areas where I've, I've narrowed down the area covered by the hair made the head slightly smaller. That often happens when I'm painting, I adjust things as I go along Nothing's ever final until it's final, basically. So um, anything can change. And that's actually the beauty of oil paint as well. You can just paint over something in one go. With acrylics, I find that it usually takes several attempts to cover up previous work. With oils, it's, it's just one go. So I am probably... Just going to do a little more background and then I'm going to call it a day.